Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I got some new information in the Quentin Simon, Leilani Simon case. Remember little Quentin Simon, the 20-month-old baby from Savannah, Georgia, who was found in a dumpster, Chatham County. Remember that case? Quentin was reported missing October 5th, 2022 by her family. Leilani Simon is her mother charged with Quentin's murder. It was a circus outside their home. Remember all that drama out there in October of 2022? Well, the home, the home where it all happened. It is up for sale, ladies and gentlemen. It is on the market today. It just went up. This is Quentin Simon. This is Leilani Simon for some of you that might not be aware about this case. She is charged with murdering her 20-month-old baby. She goes to trial according to the scheduling uh, order uh, February of 2025, about a year from now. So she's going, she'll have a lot of other hearings according to the scheduling. Uh, will she make a plea deal or will she actually go to trial? If she goes to trial, she's going to get convicted. That show about the home because according to Zillow, the home was put on the market less than 16 hours ago. Today. Check it out. Okay, so this is the home where it all went down. Savannah, Georgia, Chatham County, the home of Leilani Simon, 20-month-old Quentin Simon. The home, and I'm going to show you right here, the home, according to Zillow, was just put on the market 19 hours ago. Scrolling down here, it says right here, listed for sale, 1-6-2024, so... $399,900. They're asking for about $400,000 for the home. This is where a lot of activity in reference to this case happened, right? This is where protesters were outside the home for days. Um, there was a lot of action, a circus around this home. Let's analyze here because you could do a 3D tour. Let's look at some pictures here. Here's the home at different angles here. Um, some of this is, again, this is on Zillow. This is advertised on Zillow for sale. Look at the inside of the home. Now we get a view and an understanding of what the inside of the home looked like for anyone that has been following the Quinton Simon case out of Georgia, Chatham County. Let's take a look here. They have it all cleaned up. Nicely done. Look at the floors, looks nice. Realtor and uh, probably a professional photographer went in and took pictures. Leilani Simon uh, is scheduled to go to trial at the beginning of 2025 according to new court documents. I'm wondering if the realty, realtor company has to notify potential buyers about the controversy around this home. So they got blue walls. One of these rooms might have been Quentin's uh, bedroom, right? The bathroom. See in the rooms. Look at that right there. I wonder which room Quentin stayed in. A lot of photos. Here we go, bathroom, look outside the back, look at the pool area, look at the pool area, very, very interesting, right? So you got a pool back there, vehicles listed on, in the photographs. Not sure if these vehicles are included with the price of the home. Garage. Look, got a garage. Garage door open. And there you have it. So, 399000 It was built in 1962. Central Electric Air. Two-car garage. 0.89 acres. They want $144 per square foot. Here's the description. You want to have that 
Want to have that country living in backyard of Savannah? This house is a true oasis. The home sits on a nice large lot and has storage for all your toys, whether it's an RV, boat, four-wheelers, or project car. Located in the area that has no HOA and convenient to downtown, 516 I-95 and Veterans Parkway. The home features large rooms and two large living rooms downstairs. The owner suite complete with walk-in closet, walk-in tile, uh, tile, shower, and plenty of space. Where this home really shines is the backyard the oasis. A large in-ground pool, deck space, and covered porches give you room to have great parties and events. With the right touches, this home could be fabulous. Priced for a fast sale, so run to this home. Easy to show and clean for the next owner. There you go, folks. JLR Investigates. Home is for sale. Let me know what you think. So do you think that home is worth $400,000? That home has a lot of history, right? Protester, circus out front, the, the, the family dynamics of uh, Leilani Simon and her mom, Billy, Joe, Betterton. Wonder why they're selling the home now. Uh, are they just trying to get out of that area because of the stain in the neighborhood? The embarrassment of the neighborhood of what happened with baby Quentin? That's probably part of it. Now, will the home owners, the new ones who will buy this home, be aware that this home has a very dark history? I don't know. Uh, is it the realtor's responsibility to let the homeowner, the new homeowners know? I think so, considering the drama regarding that Simon family. But that is on Zillow. You can go verify it yourself. It's all public information when homes are for sale, right? So it is being advertised. Let me know what you think. I've been covering the Quentin Simon case. I seen Leilani Simon in court. I didn't see any remorse from her. If she goes to trial, I might be going up there attending the trial. So let me know what you think about this particular case. Subscribe to the channel. Like, hit the notification button. JLR investigates the Leilani Simon, Quentin Simon case. When more information comes out of these two people, or anything in reference to Billy Joe Betterton or people and player and participants involved in this case, I will share with all of you. JLR Investigates. Stay tuned.